Awesome. Go ahead, Jess. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jess. Um, I obviously, like Lauren said, I went to USM. I got my degree in exercise physiology. Um, my main thing is swimming. I've been swimming ever since I was three years old. Um, I've swam for just about every USA team in the Southern Maine area, as well as a coach for just about all of them. Um, currently, I coach for the Try for a Cure. Um, training them for outdoor uh, swim training right now, which is wicked fun. We do outdoor swims at Crystal Lake and um, Spring Point Beach over it by SMCC. Um, prior to that, I was the swim lesson coordinator in Cape Elizabeth for a really long time. Taught private swim lessons from six months old all the way up to almost 80. So I've worked with a lot of different people when it comes to the pool. Um, so yeah, currently I'm working at Maine Eye Center actually as an ophthalmic technician because the pandemic kind of changed the swim world as it was, so. Awesome, thanks Jess for popping on too. We're excited to have you here and lead us through a really great swim workout that's not in the pool, but we'll talk about that later too, the importance of training outside of the pool. Um, Sam, if you wanna do a quick intro for yourself and then we'll uh, kick it off to the volleyball team after. Sure, hey guys, I'm coach Norris from USM. I coach the women's basketball team there. I'm the head coach and I am also the student athlete advisory committee advisor. So really excited to be here today to learn a few um, new moves for, for out of the water. And I must say I'm a very terrible swimmer. So maybe this will help a little bit getting into some warmer weather. So thanks for having us here. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. And I will kick it off to the volleyball team. If you want to do a quick hello from you guys. Hello. For the USM volleyball team, um, my name is Jamie. I'm on the SAC exec board, and Sophie and Lauren are both SAC reps as well. And then everyone else is just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Great shirts, you guys. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> All right, and really quick, we will introduce if Tamara and Franny, if you want to do a quick hello too. Hi, I'm Franny. I'm a freshman here at USM, and I'm on the basketball team. Um, hi, I'm Tamara. I'm also a freshman and I also play basketball and I'm a member of SAC as well. Awesome. Thanks guys for coming on. And last but not least, Sam, if you want to do a quick hello. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a sophomore at USM and I'm also on the women's basketball team. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming on. I am now going to leave it up to Jess to um, start definitely our warm up, go through our workout and cool down today. Um, and that'll be kind of concluding our second swim specific workout for our swim season. So thank you everyone for joining on today. All right. So <clears throat> Main reason why we're doing this stuff outside of the water is so that we're stronger and faster when we're in the water. Uh, but to get started, we're just going to do some warm up dynamic exercises. So you can do these, uh, these arm circles. You can either do them sitting, standing, whatever you prefer. I'm currently kneeling based on <laughs> the way my camera is set up. So we're going to do a few different types of arm circles. We're going to start really small. In one direction, you can either choose to go forward or backwards. And if you chose to go forward at this point, let's go backwards. And again, we're keeping this very, very small. After about 10 rotations or so, we're gonna get a little bit bigger and go, go to medium. So I'm staying backwards now instead of going forwards, but you can switch if you'd like. And after about 10 rotations, I'm gonna switch directions here and go forward. And we're gonna make it even bigger now. And we're gonna do big arm circles, about 10 of them. Really get it loosened up. And change directions. Great. 
I'm gonna stand up now. We gotta get our legs moving as well. I'm so sorry about the uh, orientation of this. I'm trying to get it. We're gonna do 45 seconds of high knees. So. And then we're gonna switch it off to butt kicks. Really make sure you're driving your knee down. Good. Now that our heart rate's up a little bit, we're gonna go through, so our workout today is about three different supersets. So it has a combination of exercises. We're gonna start with some streamlined squats. So to modify this, you could do them, you could do them either with a chair, like this, so you can sit to stand if you'd like, or you can just do regular standing. So we'll do 10 of these. Two, three, make sure you have a really good neutral neck and you're not looking all the way up. Eight, nine, and 10. After that, we're gonna go right into some leg raises. So I like to hold on to something. You don't have to hold on to something, totally up to you. If you're doing, if you're sitting, you can raise your leg in front of you rather than to the side like how we're gonna do it next. Um, so we'll do 10 on each side. Five. And 10, after 10, we're gonna switch sides. <laughs> Eight, nine, and 10. Great, we're gonna rest for about 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna go through that same set two more times. I'm just grabbing my water, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Jess, I was gonna ask you while we were resting too, uh, when you're when we're going through the uh, streamlined squat, how mm -hmm. should your hands be positioned when they're over your head? Great question, Lauren. Um, really important to have your hands one on top of the other like this, and then you can use your thumbs to kind of latch, like use a thumb to latch the hand on. Um, that's probably the best way to do it. More hydrodynamic that way as well than like this, okay? <laughs> so it's been at least 30 seconds or so. We're gonna go through that two more times again. So we'll start with our 10 streamlined squats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great, right into the lateral leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, switch sides. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Resting for about 30 seconds again here. <laughs> Grab some water and then we'll go through that one more time. I'm so glad you're mentioning water, Jess, because on our last workout too, uh, one of the coaches that was on really expressed the importance of usually when people are in the, in the pool, they're like, oh, I don't sweat or I don't really, I don't notice that I'm sweating. And the, I was going to say, or ask, I mean, do you notice that too, that when you get out, you're like, wow, I actually am, <laughs> I'm actually working really hard right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's super common for people to feel like they're not like they don't need the water just because they are in the water. I don't know what it is or if it's because the water is going in your mouth a little bit or something. But I think because of that, we don't feel like we need the water as much. But yeah, yeah, definitely need it. And most of us are very dehydrated like myself. Yeah. So. <laughs> so one more time. One. Two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, 10 leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, switch to the other side one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good, grab some water. We'll take about a minute, minute and a half or so here. And we're gonna get onto the ground next. So, hey, so, Jess. Yes. Can it be on grass? Because I'm at my barn right now. Yeah. Okay. Totally. <laughs> I'm still catching my breath here, so. <laughs> uh. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go through four different exercises on the floor right now. We're gonna do them two times through. First one we're going to start with is some lying leg lifts. So we're going to do some core work down here. When oh, we're... it's... <laughs> so what I like to do when I do these to make my back feel better, I put my hands underneath my back. And then you want to make sure your lower back is hitting the ground. And you're going to put your feet together, bring them about six inches from the ground, and then bring them all the way up, hold, and then bring them down to where they're at six inches from the ground, but do not let them touch the ground. Okay, we'll do that 10 times. That was one, two, three, four. And if you have to look down your body to keep your lower back on the ground, that is fine. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. <clears throat> the next exercise we're gonna do is a push up into a downward dog. So it's a little bit dynamic, helps stretch your lower back as well as work the pecs. <clears throat> so you do a regular push up. And then go straight back into downward dog and really push your heels back. So we'll do six of these. Two. 
Three. Oh boy. <laughs> Four. Five. <clears throat> and six. Oh, <laughs> next thing we're gonna go back onto our back for flutter kicks for 30 seconds. So with this next exercise, the body position is very similar to what you were just doing. Same thing, hands underneath your butt to keep that lower back on the ground. You can again, look down your body if it keeps your lower back on the ground as well. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of flutter kicks. The feet shouldn't be coming more than about six to 12 inches apart from each other. So you shouldn't be doing these really big flutter kicks, small foot kicks with toes pointed, okay? Uh -huh. What if you were in the pool? <laughs> 30 seconds, I'm going to try my best to time this out correctly. And go. Oh. Holy crap. About 10 more seconds. Good, and rest. We're gonna flip back over. And then we're gonna do plank shoulder taps on each side. I have a really big emphasis on core with a lot of our exercises because that is a huge part of swimming. Um, a lot of people kind of disconnect when they swim and it's really important to have a really good course, to have really good core strength. So last one of our four, we're going to do plank shoulder taps. I'm sure many of you have done this before. So we're going to stand, have a nice solid plank <laughs> position. Make sure that your hips aren't tucked up like this. They're tucked under. You have a nice tight core. And you're going to tap each shoulder 10 times. So 20 total taps. One, two, and try not to rock your hips as you do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, we're gonna take a long rest here, about a minute and a half. Jess, I was going to ask you, what's a really good um, exercise that you might do to warm up your core outside of the pool before you guys really go into like a long training or practice? Do you ever do any warm up exercises to kind of fire that core up before? Um, the biggest thing, I mean, you can do like core rotations like this. Um, another good one, but it's kind of more of like a dynamic, like plank exercise is like toe taps like that. Um, so these are really good for hitting the core. Just getting it warmed up. And you alternate sides as you do that. I know that is something that a lot of our athletes and swimmers uh, need to do a little bit more of is before jumping into the pool is warming up and getting those muscles to fire before yep. going in and training. Um, especially when we're on our kind of long swim uh, meet days when they're kind of sticking around, hanging around, and then it's your time to get in the water. And it's like, oh man, I forgot to warm up. <laughs> so, yeah, totally. Yeah. There's definitely, there's like, I'm sure many of you have seen like Michael Phelps or whatever, before he gets in to go for a race, he's like moving around like a crazy man before he gets in to warm up his muscles. And there's definitely some science behind that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but uh, you can definitely do some like just regular rotations like this one. That's a pretty good one, but you can swing the arms up and around as well. Stuff like that to warm up. Um, so we're going to go through that floor superset one more time here. And we're going to start with our lying leg lifts. And our feet will be six inches from the ground and we'll bring them up. And then we'll bring them down. The slower you bring them down, the more of a burn you'll feel. So there's one. Two. Three. 
four, five, eight, nine, and 10. Good, right back over. Six push-ups to downward dog. And if it's too hard for you to do that, you can absolutely go on your knees and just do regular push-ups. Totally fine. Good, that was six, flip on over. Flutter kicks for 30 seconds again. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And rest. Last time of flipping back over. 10 shoulder taps on each side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Take a good rest here. I for sure feel into my core. Like, uh, we don't do enough core. <laughs> feel like no matter what, the core gets neglected sometimes. And yes. I've been neglecting it lately, that is for sure. <laughs> the pandemic has not done me any favors. <laughs> you must be modifying. You're 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 far too not out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is our last thing. And if you think I'm not out of breath now, I will be after this. Um, we're going to do a little finisher just to kind of really get our heart rate going really fast. Um, I want to do 20 seconds of squat jumps into a streamline, and then we're going to go right into mountain climbers. You can do the mountain climbers on like an incline, so they're not as hard, um, which I'm going to do. <laughs> so we're going to go through this as many times as we can for three minutes. So I'm going to set a timer here. And I need to take my socks off before I slip and fall. <laughs> <laughs> I and love, I absolutely love finishers. And I was going to say, Sam, do you guys ever do finishers at the end of your workouts for basketball? You mean like uh, sprints? Oh yeah. <laughs> or <rest> practice? <laughs> yes. The best time. Yeah. <laughs> We've done that <laughs> a few times, huh? <laughs> not a, it's not, it's not a team favorite, but yeah. <laughs> Builds their endurance though, right? Some, sometimes we do ladders at the end. Yeah. Um, I, I saw T's eyes go like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> we run, run the ladder up and down the ladder. <laughs> uh, yeah, no thank you from me. That's why I'm mainly in the pool, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> Perfect. So let's try to get through this as many times as we can for three minutes. We're going to die. Okay. But we'll do it together. So it'll be 20 seconds of squat jump. So you're into a squat into a streamline. Whoop. And you probably have taller ceilings than when I have. So I'm going to do like little jumps. Uh, but you're going to have a nice tight streamline when you come up. So kind of load and then bring the streamline up. And then we're going to go right into mountain climbers from there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Try to be light when you come down to the ground. Don't really bang. You can just hear myself really hitting the ground. All right, that's 20 seconds of that. Now we're gonna do 20 seconds of mountain climbers. And right back into squats. Whoop, my watch. And right back into mountain climbers. One minute down, two to go. And again, if you need to modify these, you can do the mountain climbers on a bench or an incline and you don't have to jump for the squat jumps. And we'll go right back into squat jumps here. And back to the floor. Last minute, guys. Squat jumps one last time. And back on the floor, last time. Good, five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, Woo. Some water. We're gonna do some stretches in a second. That's a great finisher, Jess. <laughs> hey, Lauren. I'm what trying to do me. I just wanted to say hello to the to the to the group tonight for a oh, few minutes. Absolutely. Give, you can give a shout out now while we're while we're all resting and getting water and panting. <laughs> panting so bad. <laughs> Well, I just want to say hello to my friend, Sam, from USM Husky basketball team. She and I have been doing a lot of events with you guys, and I'm looking forward to doing that again next time. I love it. Absolutely. I was going to say, I think Sam's going to say hello, too. So and I was very happy to see you, Sam. I know <laughs> I'm just kidding. Timmy. We've loved spending time with you guys and it's been really sad not to do a lot of in-person stuff. And so any of the, the little time that we can share together is, is really special. So I'm glad we got to see you tonight and thank you got to do this workout with uh, Kaylin. It's excellent. 
I love it. I know. Counting down the days until we can all of us be together again with no masks and see everyone's faces. <laughs> we miss it, definitely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jess, <laughs> I have a question to ask you. Okay. What, um, what is your favorite stroke? <laughs> My favorite stroke is butterfly. Yay! Unfortunately, it's given That's me three shoulder surgeries <laughs> because Aww. of it but I love it. So thank you for asking. What's your favorite stroke? Uh, butterfly as well. Really? <laughs> so make sure you do these strength exercises, which I never did. So you can prevent getting injuries like I had. Uh, my shoulders have been I acting up, but that's okay. <laughs> I would love, I would love to m uh, meet Michael Phelps one day. Seriously. I have wanted to meet him. I think since I was like eight years old. Yeah. yeah he's been swimming. Yeah, he's amazing. I was I'm on the oh, I was I'm on the Michael like Phelps Foundation right now. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin's one of our all-star athletes for swim that actually serves on a committee for the Michael Phelps Foundation. Uh, so she works kind of with a few of our swim coaches to design some programs with the Michael Phelps Foundation, <laughs> which is which is great. So yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. She's an all star. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that old, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A few kind of well known competitions and meets, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, definitely, Jess, I was going to say, take us through a few of our kind of cool down stretches. That's awesome. Perfect. Perfect. So we'll do some. Um, like dead, not dead bug, excuse me. Oh gosh. Some walkouts here. So all you're gonna start from a standing position, feet planted, walk your hands out, and then walk your hands back, really pushing your heels into the ground as you walk back. And your feet are always stationary. And come back up, get a big breath to reach for the stars, and come back down. And then bring those heels back, reach up, reach back, back down. We'll go through this about six times. This is number three. Good, reach up, reach back, back down. Up, back, down. That was four, two more. Go with some KB, yeah. Okay. And last one. Good. After that, you can do a couple leg swings, similar to the leg lifts, but you're gonna let them just kind of swing, get relaxed, swing. About five or six each side. Good. And then we're just gonna do, we're gonna grab our toes, we're gonna squat down, feel a good stretch, reach up, and then come back up. Six of these. Really feel a stretch in the inner thigh, okay? Come down, keep your butt up when you reach down. Your heart rate should be coming down a bit. Two more. Last one. Good, that is all I have for you guys.
That is awesome, Justin. I had one question to you as we were kind of going through some mobility exercises there at the end too with overhead, putting your hands overhead. Mm -hmm. um, what do you recommend or what do you specifically do to kind of increase your mobility and flexibility um, as you're kind of preventing some injuries for your shoulders or really you know, trying to strengthen at least those shoulder muscles? So along with the strength, I try to do a lot of the mobility stuff as well. Just really trying to like move through the full range of motion while breathing, super important. And that way you'll get more strength because of the mobility. Awesome. Awesome. And that is something too, that even for myself, as we were saying about core mobility is something that I feel like we like skip upon when we're going through some workouts. Um, and you really start to notice a difference when you work on mobility and flexibility, You're like, wow, this is really helping me <laughs> be able to build that muscle and build that. Yeah. So. Really able to get it through like that full range of motion there rather than, you know, if I'm not flexible, I'm only getting a certain range of motion. So Absolutely. Absolutely. And especially with swimming, just like how dynamic the sport is itself. Like you're moving on every single plane too. So it's really important to be mobile in like every single instance. And in my case, I'm almost a little bit too mobile at this point. So I have to work on more of the stability stuff, but that, that's awesome. And the last question I had too, for a few of our athletes are going to be watching this. Um, what do you recommend for out of pool strength training? Do you do that um, two, three times a week when you were really training um, kind of religiously? What do you usually recommend out of water? Um, I guess it depends on how many swim days they have a week. So if they're swimming, you know, three times a week, I would say at least one or I would say two strength training for that if there's something more than that then you could do three times a week of like dry land stuff um okay yeah very cool. Um, definitely. Cause I know that a few of our athletes are getting back in the water, which is exciting. And we are so pumped to hear that. So as we kind of move forward in April and definitely hope USM, all of you guys check it out. We actually are doing a virtual swim meet. So our athletes are training right now. Um, and then all of our times are actually uh, sent to us at the end of April. So kind of stay tuned for that. Uh, but as always, Jess, thank you so much for coming of on. Course anytime of you um and sam and we've got the other sam and we've got all of our friends at usm volleyball crew thank you tamra thank you franny for coming on you guys are awesome you probably got your second or third workout of the day <laughs> welcome <laughs> but as always thank you guys we will tune out and we'll catch you next time thank you guys for joining thank, thank you guys great to meet you guys